modern aircraft are much heavier than air. So how is it that they are able to fly? Airplanes generate lift using wings or airfoils. Wings produce lift by generating an air pressure difference between the top and bottom sides of the wing. Lower pressure on the top of the wing versus higher pressure below produces a net force pointing upward, keeping the plane aloft. When air travels around an airfoil, the air streams are forced to move around the body since the airfoil is obstructing the path of the airstream. The airstreams diverge at the front tip of the wing, some going up and over the wing while others travel beneath the wing. In either situation, there is a conservation of mass of the airflow. There's no additional air being created or destroyed, it merely travels across the wing. The amount of air mass traveling across the wing per unit of time while the plane is in steady flight is constant. The mass that travels over the top of the airfoil tends to bunch up while it navigates around the body. This bunching up means there is less space or area for the mass to flow through. Since the flow of mass around the wing is constant, that means the only way that the mass can continue to flow at the same rate through a smaller area is by speeding up. This phenomenon is similar to what happens when we plug the end of a water hose with a finger. The water will all of a sudden start to shoot out of the hose at a much faster rate. There's a link between the velocity of the air mass and the pressure it experiences. This relationship is captured in a formula called Bernoulli's equation. It shows that the pressure plus one half of the air density times the square of the air velocity is constant. Notice that if the velocity of the air goes up, like when the air passes over the top of the airfoil, that means the air pressure must go down to satisfy the equation. So to summarize, air is forced to move around the airfoil, which is obstructing the path of the airflow. The air stream bunches up as it moves over the top of the wing, which reduces the area that the air can flow through. Due to the conservation of mass, the air is forced to speed up to maintain a constant airflow. Then, by Bernoulli's equation, we see that the increase in air velocity means that there is also a decrease in pressure. The net difference between the air pressure above the wing and the air pressure below the wing results in a lifting force.